people cared that much and they were considered a true fan you could charge you could develop a package so let's say that i put merch and a book together and for some reason it totals out to a hundred dollars and the 1000 people buy it hundred thousand dollars so there is i'm gonna talk about theories and practical applications of things that you can do talking about a stream i'm actually going to use this exact moment as a example so we're going to go over a theory and then a strategy to content creation it can be of anything literally think of anything you want to do on any given platform and you can wrap it around this and it'll probably work for you given grit to just do the work this can really apply to you so we're gonna go ahead and switch over okay so above i got all these tabs we're gonna go through one by one i'm gonna explain each one so this first tab is about 1000 true fans 1000 true fans you can develop a, a following of a thousand true fans basically anybody one number of a thousand people that would follow you from anything that you do so let's say that at any given moment at any given time i could hit go live on twitch and there would be a guaranteed 1000 people um that's not to say that there won't be more than a thousand some people can hit live and have twenty thousand people this number grows exponentially but a thousand is an easy number for people to understand it's a kind of lower number it doesn't seem like oh i have to have fifty thousand people hundred thousand people millions of people a thousand seems a little bit more tangible so let's say that you got a thousand people that give a lot of love towards whatever you do Let's say that I'm a Twitch streamer. I get a thousand people hit live. I decide, hey, I'm going to make a book about my journey in life, becoming a Twitch streamer, what's led me to this point, and I'm going to charge 20 bucks to it. Guaranteed 1,000 sales right out the door, $20,000. Not bad, huh? You can get 1,000 true fans. Like, if I stopped, okay, so back to the thing, if, if I sold a book for $20, guaranteed 1,000 sales, $20,000, that would, that would do so much imagine being able to get twenty thousand dollars just like that wouldn't that be crazy and if you sold it for thirty dollars thirty thousand if people cared that much and they were considered a true fan you could charge you could develop a package so let's say that i put merch and a book together and for some reason it totals out to a hundred dollars and the one thousand people buy it hundred thousand dollars imagine doing that a couple times over you can make over a million dollars a year and it's not to say that this is dedicated strictly to money it's that with money there's a lot more opportunities and stuff like if i had my 1000 true fans and even sold something for a dollar that would cover my expenses for the month so that's kind of uh, like i said an easy number to wrap your head around that's a good goal for people to set one of my goals thousand viewers that's it if i get to that number that's cool so moving on to that i'm going to show you guys a little bit about what I did to try to get that number before I discovered this content strategy. So some of you guys may know back in the Darwin days, I decided to upload a video a day for a really, really long time. It was usually just Twitch clips. That's why I press so hard on people getting Twitch clips for me is I would post a clip a day for a really long time. Some of which are some of my most viewed videos. So I would go down here, a clip a day for a really long time. First link in the description would be my Twitch. So see, there's like 140 views here. 45 15 27 you know the way that i would explain this to people is imagine if you get like a colander like a, a sifter and imagine each individual person is a grain of sand and in that grain of sand sometimes there's like diamonds you know there's valuable things and that's what i would consider a true fan is like a diamond like a diamond in the rough so let's say that i put out tons of videos a video a day a clip a day and people filter through that there's going to be one person eventually that goes, hey, I like this clip. I might like this person. Go to the description, hit the link, drop a follow. Boom. That's more likely to be a dedicated, true fan and consistent watcher than anybody that might just skim through and give you a couple seconds. Um, some people that I consider a true fan would be Creeper or Liar. People that are constantly here. Rain or shine, high or low, they're here. So I put out this content to try to filter through people. It would kind of make a funnel. And which, what's funny is the strategy that I'm going to show you guys is described as an upside down pyramid, a funnel. So it'd be like, put a whole bunch of content out, filter through the people all the way down to one direct point, which would be your Twitch. So to give you guys a better example, 
some of you guys may know of a guy named Gary V. He is an entrepreneur. He's developed many, many, many companies. This guy is a inspiration icon. Millions of followers across everything. I actually was coming across some of his recent YouTube videos. He has a slideshow, 85 piece slideshow about the content pyramid. I'll actually drop this link down for you guys to click if you want. Um, if I decide to cut this up into a YouTube video, I will also get the links and everything I have them down in the description for everybody. He goes to describe how he does his content and basically turns one long form thing into different pieces of content. So I actually had written down, here it is, established pillar content. So you document something, you create based on that, you distribute, you listen, and you create and then distribute again. So what I could grasp from it, I watched a video of a guy that tried to explain it is, let's say that I took my weight loss journey and I documented an entirety of it. And I took that and made one long form video. And then I took small clips and distributed it across things. Yo, what's up? Thank you for the follow, appreciate it. How's it going? Like I was saying, imagine long form content, you take clips, kind of spread it out. Basically get yourself seen in as many ways as possible. Constant content, like be in people's faces enough to where they go, you know what, I might, I'll just click it, like give it a shot. So the way that I've been doing that and had done that was I took every single clip that I got of Darwin, posted it, got people here, they followed. And I've actually, the way that I'm doing this now is based on this example, this is gonna be a long form content. I might uh, get little golden nuggets of things here and there, drop it on like TikTok, drop it on uh, Twitter, Instagram. I've actually done that a few times. I decided to get TikTok again to post all my gaming content, small clips. So I've actually done that and gotten, let's see, uh, 407 views, 848, uh, almost 4,000 on a, on a Twitch clip. Yeah, 444, like, look, 1,000 views here. 4,000 views there. Posted this clip yesterday, 292, 289. It's just ways to get yourself seen. Let's say I'll actually drive you guys through this process of uploading a clip. So let's go to my clip manager. I'm gonna do this the entire way that I would do it. Let's say that I made a YouTube video and stuff and I was like, okay, I'm gonna upload it. I go to create, go to upload, drag it in here, fill it out like a normal YouTube video, description tags, the whole nine yards. And I was like, hey, there's a clip. If I wanna go to most viewed clips, I'll actually, I'll upload one, I'll upload one right now let's let's find one i'll go through the whole thing you guys can watch it so i get blown up by a creeper here we'll watch it all the way through no. <laughs> i was not happy okay so thankfully twitch has integrated a spot where you can just hit download you download the clip it pops up in the top right i can go over here to tiktok and go hey i want to upload a video it takes me to the upload tab for tiktok go over here to my downloads decide oh i'm gonna drag it right here Caption something. Let's see. I wanted to make a fence. The creeper had other plans. That's it. There you go. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what I do to try to get hashtags that I feel like would be a good option. So we're of course going to plug the Twitch in the description here. And then what I do is I use a website called display purposes. This is mostly an Instagram hashtag. A curator it's kind of like what are the top hashtags for any given topic so we can literally just put minecraft and it gives all of these i just feel like the top instagram tags would probably also be top tiktok tags it doesn't doesn't seem impossible to me so we're going to use that as an example it also helps if you just press a random letter after whatever like a random letter and you find a tag see minecraft a like it's got 41.6k views why no one knows it's not like it's not a very search for thing minecraft avatar see very unique things that most people aren't searching so we'll actually shoot for the lower tags see there's some that are just gonna it's gonna be hard like tutorial 1.6 billion views why minecraft 101 boom just hit every random number like what is this what is this random tag with 36k views who knows minecraft kid there we go we'll just take out this avatar thing real quick so that's basically it that's all you need to got the caption I'll drag it over here where I get blown up. So that's it. You just hit upload, it'll be there. So we can check back later and see what this did, if anything, if it gets tons of views, if not. But the best part is you can go through on these little tiny things, whatever you get from a video. And like I said, you can just throw it in here. You could, you could really, based off of how I made all my videos all over the Darwin game, I was able to make months worth of daily uploads of tiny clips for a really long time and 
at the moment at least from whatever i've been able to tell as well as what i've heard from others is the algorithm really favors people that daily upload it takes into consideration of like how much content are you putting out and are people enjoying it so that plays hand in hand so having these little clips you might have one thing that pops off and it gets thousands of thousands of views and it might be the one thing that you need to make it make it in the community even down to i have a clip with 161 views one with 46 uh, 146 141 138 like those are potential people coming to whatever you want to view so it could get i have 156 subscribers and i've barely even tried on this channel and i'm almost over a thousand followers on twitch as it is growing every single day so my plan is to take long form content like this cut it up on youtube take small golden nuggets and be able to put it across every social media uh snag somebody that might be able to enjoy it and maybe reel them in and then develop a community based off that and then po positively push forward based on that seems like a, a fair plan to me seems like it could work like i said there's an entire 80 85 slide thing about how gary goes through and has content made at some point i could even hire people to do this kind of stuff like he does so it can make instagram based content twitter based content youtube based content all kinds of things and that's kind of the plan so i'm going to do that and see how it moves forward it's september the 2nd 2020 eight days from your boy's 22nd birthday so we're going to apply it and then see maybe a month down the line two months six months down the line where it ends up